Welcome teachers. In this video, I'm going to give you some instructions about projecting from the new BAK Atlas student device to the Epson projector in your room. The first thing you will need to do is use the remote to turn on the Epson projector in your room. Once you have turned on the projector and the blue screen appears, you are going to press the LAN button on the upper right hand corner of the remote. You will see an example in the video. Once the LAN button has been pressed, you will see the name of the projector and the IP address of the projector. Those are also shown as an example in the video. Both the projector name and the IP address will come in handy as you go through the process of projecting your screen. And to do that, we will go to the Start button, and you will scroll down until you find the Epson projector icon, and then you will tap that, and you will go to Easy MP Network Projection. You will click, and the Easy MP Network Projection will load. You want to do a manual search. You are going to enter the IP address that is on the screen in front of you. So I will enter the example from Central Office. And I hit OK. Now it gives me the name of the projector. The name of the projector should match what is on my screen. In the case of most teachers, it is going to be their classroom. I'm going to check that projector right there, and then I'm going to hit Connect and I can see there are a number of options down here in the lower right hand corner about how you would like to project. And if you hover your mouse over them, it will tell you what those options are. So there are such things as pause, and there are the controls available. You can mess with the options, and I have not experimented with the movie sending mode, and then you can disconnect. And obviously your screen is no longer projecting. If you go back to EZMP, you can see the projector remains there and you can continue to connect to that projector if you want to connect to it again. So I would simply hit connect if I wanted to connect to that projector again. Hopefully that will guide you through the process. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, good luck using your new BAK device to project to the students and to your classroom.